Yo Ningans, what is up? What is good? It's your boy, Seven the Savage, and we're back again with a new video. Today, we're going over the fifth installment of the developer's backyard for Guilty Gear Strive. That's right, it's finally here. The moment you've all been waiting for. We are going to be going over the feedback from the guilt from the um the survey that was dropped after the first open beta of guilty gear strive and the developer of guilty gear strive um akira kento kento he'll, he'll just be like giving us like information on like the the feedback of the survey basically it's stuff like that if you want to check out the article, the article will be in the description down below. So without further ado, let's fuck it up and hold up. Wait before this video begins. Can we get five likes, please? That way I know you guys want to see more of this type of content on the channel and I would really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's fuck it up. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna go over are, it's just like some little like, I wouldn't say trivial, but it isn't super duper important, but it's basically the character that was used the most and the character that was most liked. So the character that was most liked is Ramethal and she has been number one throughout all of the regions that got to play. So North, so North America, South America, Asia, uh i think japan and oceania so yeah I, I, a lot of people like feet yeah um, very interesting a lot of people a lot of people like them toes <laughs> bunch of degenerates holy shit. okay but when it comes to the character most played uh she only took the spot in japan north america europe and oceania on oceania so she didn't take the spot for all of the categories. And um, South America, it was Giovanna. Well, Giovanna's Brazilian, so I'm kind of not surprised about that. And Asia, it was Seoul, which uh, then again, it's not, not surprising. I don't know if Seoul is Japanese, but uh, Japan players like Seoul, so I'm not surprised. Um, Yeah, so that was basically it for that little section right there. Next up, we're going to go over how people felt about the game so well the game modes in general i mean so everyone really enjoyed versus mode they said it was con it was a consistent way for them to get a rematch without having long load times and they could play people that were like close to them or people that lived near them they could just constantly play and won't have to wait for load times the tutorial they said was average to good they said it had a lot of creative freedom, which it did. It, it was very like free form. You could do a lot of stuff. They gave us a lot of options to like test stuff out, like setups and combos and stuff like that. So I, I can agree. It, it was it was very good in my opinion. I, I wouldn't say it was good. I said I would say it was very good in my opinion. Yeah. So that was basically it. Oh wait, they also mentioned that they didn't they didn't know how to optimally use it. Hold on. Oh, that's why. Okay, yeah. So they mentioned that they didn't know how to optimally use training mode. They did. There wasn't a tutorial on how to use training mode, so they weren't like really sure what to do in training mode. So there were some mixed reviews about that. They also mentioned that they are going to be improving online. The director said that they're going to be improving the online. And they also mentioned some fixes that they were going to be doing that we'll probably see in the second open beta. Changes to a system where players select a visible area where they want to have a match. So you can like select an area where you would want to have a match. And it will probably just teleport you there and your opponent teleports there or like your friend can teleport there. So you guys can have like your own little section. After winning a match, the player stays where they are in a battle ready state unless they unless their rating changes. 
so you stay in that one place there's no there's no more constantly like after the battle ends you both like just go back to normal if you win you stay in that battle royale state so you're going to still be holding your weapon i guess um adding a rematch option so we, we did it boys we finally got rematch we finally got the rematch option uh damn we've damn the open beta of gives your strive got a rematch option now that's 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 so deep i'm so glad we got the rematch option that's hype expanding the area in each lobby adding an option to hide the news display and adding a dash movement okay so we have a dash movement that'll let us get around quicker and we can hide the menu to expand more of the screen so we'll be able to see more of the lobby okay that's cool the high damage okay so people were complaining about the the damage being too high and not be able not be able to do a lot of combos because they would die everybody would die in like two or three hits and then that would be it for the match the matches were going like super fucking fast but the director said they will be adjusting the damage and they also said that the damage will stay the same but they're going to be adjusting it to where you won't die so fast i guess so you won't die in like two or three hits so we'll just have to wait and see for that they also mentioned something about meter adjustment the director said we didn't simply increase the gain rate but you should be able to use your meter more freely so we don't really know what that means will we be having more options involving meter so will we have more options to do out of meter so like uh like a dashback mechanic or something like that i don't know it's all up to speculation next up is the jumping so a lot of people were complaining about the anti-airing being pretty weak in the beta to my experience it wasn't that bad i only played giovanna and axel throughout the beta the majority of the beta so i didn't really have that much problem anti-airing um i guess they were complaining about like the the command normal that was used for anti-airing i guess that i guess think that's the one that they were complaining about because it was i can admit that one was weak it didn't have much range and it didn't really do its job it was, it's supposed to be an anti-air but it didn't do its job at all so the director stated that many players felt that the neutral game was lacking due to grounded anti-airs being too weak while area options were too strong making jumping a common choice we also determined that this needed improvement and we have made significant changes i can't explain each individual change here but this is one point that will be a very noticeable difference from an open beta test okay so they're going to be changing up the anti-airs to make them stronger which is good uh the director also mentioned that the infinites are gone so no more giovanna infinites rip 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 giovanna rip giovanna infinites i'm so sad even though i never really used them <laughs> and last but not least the second open beta so yes we all know that the second beta is going to be happening so the director said um the director basically just said be on the lookout for news of the open beta of like the date of when the open beta is going to happen the times and all that other jazz the same thing kind of like how the first open beta was so yeah that was basically it so yeah sorry i kind of like speed ran through all this i wanted to give you guys as much information as possible but if you guys are still like kind of like not too sure of what's going on the link to the article will be down in the description below anyways i hope all you ningans found this video helpful and informative leave a like if you did comment down your thoughts below what do you guys think are you guys hyped for the second beta are you hyped for the rematch button are you hyped for ramathal's feet let me know in the comments down below i'll catch all you ningans later to bang bitches oh finished already